I've been waiting in this goddamn bathroom for so long for the last video to get 400 likes. And so far, 400 likes haven't made to that video yet. So I'm still in this goddamn bathroom taking a fucking shit. I haven't eaten in days just waiting on this fucking toilet. I just. No, no, no toilet paper needed. Welcome back. It's only been a couple of days since, you know, I've been on the toilet waiting for 400 likes, but no, I couldn't get 400 likes on the video and I had to wait for there for like two fucking days. <laughs> so, welcome back to the Connor's Congress channel. I'm your host, me, and today we're going to do two topics today. We're going to talk about what the f TV moments on TV. The one subject that's on the title, we'll do that last, because the best is for last, after all. But today, not today, uh, right now, we're going to talk about this one show that was in like the, in the early 2000s or something called WB Superstar U U USA. What the f- Basically, it is a fake show. If you might wonder, what the f*** is a fake show? You know American Idol? You know that shit where just like you get a bunch of judges, no like, man, this person sounds nice the way this person sings. Well, you take that subject and you reverse it and you trick the person instead of instead of voting for the best person, you're actually voting for the worst person that's singing. <laughs> it's a prank show basically, except prank is revealed as a prank. In the finale, so basically, uh, the first one, the first person that gets voted out is someone that sounds good. Someone that actually has talent at singing. They vote them out completely. And the only person that wins in the show is the person that sucks at singing. Like, 100% sucks. Like, like so bad, you just want to kill yourself. And, and they don't, they, and everyone is, everyone is in on it. Everyone is in on it. The audience is in on it, except for the per people that audition. They don't know crap. The only time they have a live audience is the finale. Oh my god, it is so bad. So let's watch this American Idol flip over disaster and see why this is one of the most what the f- Hello everyone, welcome back to the WB Superstar USA. The suspense is building because we're just seconds away from announcing which one of these two incredible entertainers has earned the title of the WB's Superstar USA. As you can see, you see the porn star on the left, and then you see a, uh, someone that's on death sticks on the right. Now you can tell which one is going to win. The porn star. Why? Because... One, she sounds like shit, and two, her tits, her cleavage is out, so you know they're gonna pick her. In this hand, I hold the name of the first ever WB Superstar USA. At stake is literally a dream come true. Mario, Jamie, the moment has come. I wonder who's gonna win. Who's gonna win at being the most shittiest singer in the world? Now, without further ado, the WB Superstar USA is... Could you go any slower? Jamie. Mario. Mario. You can just tell the dude in the back is just gonna come out with a, like a shotgun or something. You, you just know. Jamie. Congratulations, you won the show, but you don't know what the real show is. We're not gonna give you an album. No, we're just gonna laugh at you because you suck at singing. Congratulations, Jamie. You are the WB Superstar USA. And the look on this girl. Man, she looks like she's gonna have it all. <laughs> Yet she doesn't know what the show really is. Now keep in mind. When she's singing, just listen to the piercing of the 
the blood coming out of your ears. Just just feel it. And then look at her reaction of her figuring out what the show actually is. Oh my gosh, I'm like speechless right now. Oh my god. I don't want to cry. Did you have any doubts? <laughs> no, I didn't actually. Press X to doubt. Doubt. Be skeptical. Hard to believe. The story you're currently speaking of seems illegitimate. Given the lack of credible evidence you are presenting, I find it highly difficult to place any trust in the more than likely fabricated alibi you have given me. When one considers all the available evidence, both evidence gathered through the course of the investigation and evidence presented now by your attitude and speaking tone, one is unable to come to a certain conclusion. However, one may find themselves leaning in a direction towards one conclusion or the other. Given the evidence Much more to being a superstar than just musical talent, singing is only a small part of the superstar package. There's charisma, showmanship, stage presence, sex appeal. And Ew, sex appeal. You gotta show us some titties on TV? No, you can't because it's TV. This is the best part in this entire what the F moments on TV. You have no idea. And yes, this clock hasn't changed. I've been reading the comments and this f***ing clock has not changed. There are no batteries in that clock. So suck it. If you guys want me to change the clock, no. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna change the batteries in that clock. We found you, Jamie. Here you may me feel shiny and new. My performance was really good. Just listen to this beauty. This beauty. This joke of a show isn't on anymore. I wonder why. Jamie, you obliterated your adversaries with the powerhouse performance of My Heart Will Go On. Across the distance and spaces between us. Nope, no blood yet, but soon. It's the blood's just gonna come out of your ears because how bad this sounds. I mean, it's so bad, but that's not the worst part of this. It isn't. It's the part when it's revealed to her that this show is actually staged just to convince her that she sucks ass. All those episodes, all the time, all the tension, just to make you feel bad. Because everyone knows that you suck. Everyone voted who sucked the me. Your version of All By Myself proved you were unstoppable. All by myself, off against Mario and Rosa and sealed the deal. Just, just, just think of this. All of those people that they voted out, voted out of the competition, they sound better than this person that won this competition. Just think about that. They sound better than her. Could stop them. <sighs> Not even a lousy singing voice. Oh! Look at the confusion on everyone's faces! <laughs> oh my god! Jamie... Oh! There's a twist to this show. <laughs> we really weren't looking for America's best singer. We were looking for someone who, who thought they were America's best singer. Everyone was in on it. Everyone was a hired actor. Everyone, the audience, were actors. Until the ending. Until the ending. The finale, they had live audience. Now all like, what is this? What is this garbage we're listening to? Oh, it ain't American Idol. No. No, it ain't no American Idol. It's the reverse. <laughs> and now, we're gonna go on the juicy part. The second part of this video. Now, you like Dr. Phil, right? Well, meek the British version. Jeremy Kyle, I think that's his name. He is one of the most savage. He's the one of the most savages talk show host therapy people ever. 
He's one of those Dr. Phil's, except Savager. Well, today you guys show me this random thing on Discord, and so far, I'm gonna do it. Also, thank you for this video. I really appreciate it. F I've got a photo here. Um... Okay, first, we get, we're gonna pause it here in the first frame. We see Jeremy Carr on the left and two gay guys on the right. Nothing wrong being gay. And now you look down and you read, Have I been having sex with my brother? Just take it all in. Have I been having sex with my brother? It's like Star Wars, except without the sex part. Now, this is my live reaction. This is my, the only parts I've seen is the first five seconds of this, right? So, whatever is left, I don't know about. So, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I know I'm ready. Uh, a picture of Ron. Um, this is um, your mother's ex-husband. Um, got a statement from him as well. He said I was married to Ina over 20 years ago, and when we were together, we had four children. You see, there's Stan Lee right there, and uh, they're saying if he's the father of one of the gay people, I don't understand. One of which was named Paul. Paul was 18 months of age. We couldn't cope. We had no choice but to put him into care. Two weeks ago, someone called Paul got in contact with me. Okay, so I'm guessing this. So, Stan Lee right there, right? He was all like, okay, we have another child, let's name him Paul, but we can't have him anymore because reasons. So they put him into an adoption thing. And then years down the road, he gets a call from someone named Paul. It could be anyone named Paul. Do you know how many people named Paul that are out in the, out in the world? <laughs> just just imagine. Someone just walking outside and says, like, oh, what's your name? Oh, my name is Paul. Then he turned around and said... My son, I have found you. And then Paul turns around saying, I am older than you. With me, but there was absolutely no way of proving that he was my son. People say that we look like each other. And I do agree, I hope today that the DNA will prove him to be my son so that we can catch up on lost time. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see any resemblance. I do not. I just hope it isn't going to be what I think it's going to be, but if it is going to be, I'll, I'm going to kill them. Begin forming a relationship. Do you see a similarity? No, I don't. Lee, do you see a similarity? Yes. And let's just bring it back again. This is two guys who have had, in all innocence, a physical relationship. Um, Ron also bought some pictures of, and this is um, really important, Ron bought some pictures of the child, the child, that, um... It is what I don't like about this, uh, video. There's no intention music. So I'm gonna put in some, some tension music in. It's good. Like, unnecessary tension music, like Star Wars music or something. Well, this is before that child was adopted and put into care at 18 months. That could be you. Could be. Think it is? I'm not sure. Okay. Why don't you do a DNA test? He you knows there's a lot of people in this world that are doppelgangers, right? Like, I could just go in, like, Japan, and I see someone who looks exactly like me, except he has no arms or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody can look like anybody. Apparently, some people think I look like that one guy from the Goldbergs or something. Go, go, go. I have been diagnosed with early Alzheimer's, so I find it difficult to remember much of the past. I know that Leah's upset and confused about the situation, but if it turns out that Paul is my son, I would be so happy and I would love to get to know him. I am just hoping it's not going to be what I think it's going to be. Because if it is, oh no. Because, like, you see the thing on the bottom. It says, uh, have I been having sex with my brother? I don't want it to be like that. Come on. Don't do it. It is dumb. It's going to be so stupid. Before I do this, and I've, I've done a lot of this, but probably nothing quite so emotional, you guys obviously have some things to say to each other. Because, I mean, that is life-changing. Mm. All I can say is, whatever happens, I'll be there for you. Yeah. I always will be. I'll be there for you. You know that. You know that. I will always be there. As a brother, as a friend. Same here. A friend and a brother that you f- 
Oh, this is not going to end well. I just know. It. Please don't. I am saying this as a person. Please don't do this, Jeremy. I swear to you, if you're lying and it's all a prank, I'm going to kill myself. You half brothers. In the deepest night Reaching out, grasping for a fleeting memory All the thoughts keep piercing through this broken mind I fall, but I'm still standing motionless Far in the distance There is light, a light that burns These scars of old All this pain reminds me of what I am I'll live, I'll become all I need to be Words that kill would you speak them to me with your breath so still it makes me believe in the father sins let me suffer now and never die i'm alive